Look, nice reef out the back. Where are we? We're in Antigua. In Antigua, and this is Green Island. This is supposed to be the kite surfing spot of the island. And you'll see a bunch of kites setting up on the beach there. We're well, lucky we got in quite early this morning. Um, whew, nice tram ran at the beach. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Pretty glam. So we got a barrier reef or a reef protecting the um, outside here. So it's actually quite a large area to go kiting or winging. The water is flat, like flat, flat, which is really nice. Yeah, I guess we'll um, get some gear pumped up and um, go for a hit. starts at four o'clock this afternoon and it's ten o'clock in the morning and we have to do uh, a I think small it, um, trip yeah I think it's 14 miles and what's the program we've got going there because it's not our Ray Marine no so we've been running QTVLM on the Raspberry Pi uh, which is quite cool um, nice it's, it's nice, the instrumentation's a little bit nicer than the Raymarine and the... Yes, but uh, no one can use it. No yeah. one knows how to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a bit new to everyone, so pushing buttons is not as easy as what they let with the Raymarine. But anyway, so here we are in Green Island. Uh, we're on the easternmost corner of uh, Antigua at the moment. Nice and windy, wing foiling was fantastic. And we need to go actually <laughs> completely the other side of Antigua. We have to go right to the western side, so it's the full other side of the island. And it was quite lumpy on the way up here, so we're going to probably have the same conditions on the way down, except this time we're going to be able to put Frankie up. Yeah, so we spent, well, you can actually see our previous track uh, here. So we went from Jolly Harbour here, down here, did a heap of tacking and then we ran out of daylight so we stopped in this little harbour here and early the next morning we came out of that, you can see our first tack here and then we bore away and came into Green Island here. So now we've got to do that same trip? Yeah, so this time we will be downwind because we got the prevailing easterly wind, so that's the wind going this way. You can actually see our boat on anchor hanging into the wind, so you can see that the bows are pointing that way. So that means the wind will be blowing that way, which means that spinnaker ride on port tack down here, jibe somewhere around here onto starboard tack, to this bottom end of the cor corner of the island here. The wind, breathe, uh, the wind bends a little bit around the island, so we might be able to carry the kite up the western coast a little bit, but most likely we'll have to drop it somewhere around here and then to sail reach in here. So what are we going to get the kids to do? So we've got to get uh, Frankie the fractional ready, kite, kite sheets out and kite blocks out and hook it all up. Okay. And then how long have we got? It's 10 o'clock now? 10 o'clock now, so we've got six hours, but we potentially want to go and get some beers and shopping before we go to the party, so... Uh, see, see how we're we See if we can get there in less than four hours, give us some time. So, it could be a little bit of a send it session. Okay, what are you looking for? Um, the, the blocks. Where the second loop goes through, where the sheet's got to go, uh, where the um, thing's got to go. Yeah, yep. that's it. So you can squish it down. Now you can get the sheet through where the sheet is. Yeah. Alright, on the other side. Right. Okay. Alright. So we need 
need to uh, run the sheets. Uh, go around the outside of everything. Oliver. Anchors up. If you do the math, 18 plus nearly 6 is 22. So that's how much we're yeah. feeling right now. Yes. So it's 23, oh, 23. minus oh, no. 6 something, something Thank you, with speed. Yeah. We're a little too high for Frankie right now. So, so instead we're doing the chib until we um, go around the headland over there and start to go downwind. Wow, they're like almost breaking.
which is it about? Okay, so we've probably mentioned it, who knows if you, those of you who have been following us so far, would know that uh, we lost our rudder on halfway across the Atlantic. Um, and we've been dealing with it, so it hasn't stopped us, but it does have an impact on the way that we sail. And we're finding that today has been particularly challenging in that we only have a rudder on our starboard side now, which is our windward, which at the moment is the windward side. And it's not very grippy in the water. It sucks air down into it and yeah, it's getting pretty, uh, pretty scary. So Shane is having to hand steer because I don't think um, Steve, our autopilot, can probably handle it today. I have a cool video, of, um, I have a cool video of what our oh, weather might look like underwater when it reaches. Okay. Yeah, we No, nobody wants to flap kites because then that's... To um to get a wipeout in the footage. Well, continue. I'm trying not to wipe out, but. <laughs> well, mum, continue filming, please, so we do not wipe out. Yeah, yeah. If I film it, we won't wipe out again. Good. Continue filming. Turn down there. No wiping out. But it is a beautiful day in the. Caribbean. Caribbean. Uh, uh, south Antigua. end of Antigua, just passing English Harbour. No, past and English Harbour, we're almost at a And we're gonna go around the corner there to oh, Jolly Harbour. Oh, oh, here we go, here now we're waiting out. Oh. Wiping out now. Oh. oh, see, that's why I'm filming. Hi. That's why I'm filming, so we don't wipe out. Yeah, but there's a huge Ventilation, let's go with the rudder. Let's go. Oh, that's way. Here we go, on the first. Go, fight here. Yeah, straight into the other way. One. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen point one. So what's happening? Oliver, it's, it's um, cavitating. Yeah, cavitating. It's sucking air from the... It's sucking air from the top of the water, sucks it down to the uh, rudder, and then you basically lose all control. Is that why Dad keeps wiping out? Yes. They've given you an excuse? Shane. Yeah. I, I have a cool video on it um, of how it looks like. Not our rudder in particular, but what Not cavitating our rudder, looks but like. What it looks like. Oh, yeah. it'd be cool to hold that one under the water and film it happening. Oh, yeah. That's oh, okay. How do yeah, you propose uh, to do that? So well, we'll do that after I get around the reef. Yeah. <laughs> but your swim is on also. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Hey Dad, how about we 
about the arrow? In my mind. In your mind. In your mind. Come on. You credit him with the with the idea. It's Shane Simple Young. Planes. Yeah. Oh, is that your game that you play? The Simple Planes app? Yeah. Game. I just made a um, plane that goes as fast as the X-15. Using your arrow theory? That's, um, that's how Concord works. Okay, so um, Dad said it won't rip and it rips. Yeah, Dad said the. Velcro's on the sheet. Oh, yeah, Velcro's yes. not. That's secure. Yep, um, rip the spinnaker. Yeah, it ripped up there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, yeah, it's ripped out the leech. Up here. You gonna say what happened? Yeah, either um, uh, spinnaker got all twisted up, all twisted, then it twists around the jib. So we untwisted it around the jib, untwisted it here, and there's a rib up there. Uh, I spotted a rib. I really yeah. and, and Dad, Dad said we wouldn't rip the jib, uh, spinnaker, you know. When, we have it on the camera too. <laughs> it won't pop up. Yeah, Don't worry. Ollie, tell us what happened after you just did that last bit of filming. Pop the spinnaker! Yeah. Spinnaker! Yep, in two pieces now. But we got it all in bags, it's all there. There's no big giant, there's not a big pop in it. We're, we're flooding in the ocean now. Yeah. Not, not like the first one that we popped. Uh, we have all of it. Yeah. We were too busy rushing around and making sure that rest of the spinnaker didn't end up. Yeah, it's exciting, it? yeah. yeah. Well. Suddenly just permanent security cameras sound attractive. Well, stuff happens. Stop that. Okay, 130. Too bad. Just right. Really 130 shine. 130? Yeah. There you go. Alright, let's put this away. Set fire here. So what was that? Ten. Was. About three and a bit hours. Two hours, 55 minutes. 
Average, right. average speed of 8.3 knots. 8.3. Average, that's including hoisting and dropping the sail and um, motoring in and out and getting off of uh, anchor. Yeah. It's an interesting trouble to start without that. Right, and um, casualties? Uh, one uh, asymmetric spinnaker. Frankie. Frankie, Frankie our favourite.